This is our sixth and final example. We have p squared minus 49 over q plus 2 divided by p minus 7 over q squared minus 4. Like our previous examples, we change our division to multiplication and invert the second fraction to get the same answer. On the numerator, we have p squared minus 49 multiplied by q squared minus 4. I've coloured these two expressions in differently, uh, pink and blue, and this will become apparent why I've did this in a moment. So, multiplying the denominators now, q plus 2 multiplied by p minus 7. Now, at this point, looking at a new fraction, is there anything which can be cancelled in order to simplify? Well, at the moment, there isn't. But what we do have in this first bracket, this pink expression, p squared minus 49. Now, this can be factorised. Now, if we factorise, then hopefully what we might get is something that can cancel with something on the bottom. So, we're going to try that. So we have p squared minus 49. That can be factorised using a difference of two squares factorisation. p squared minus 49 is the same as p squared minus 7 squared. Our expression is now ready to be factorised. The same goes for the blue one. We can factorise this one using a difference of two squares also. Q squared minus 4 is the same as Q squared minus 2 squared. The denominator isn't going to change. We still have Q plus 2 multiplied by P minus 7 on the bottom. So P squared minus 7 squared, that factorises into two brackets. So we have two brackets. The first one contains a plus sign and the second one contains a negative sign. We have P plus 7 and P minus 7. Our second blue expression can be factorised in a similar way. Two brackets, one with a plus sign, one with a minus sign. So that's q plus 2 and q minus 2. And the denominator hasn't changed. What we now have though is a couple of things which can uh, cancel so that we can simplify our fraction. We have q plus 2 multiplying in the bottom, and we have q plus 2 multiplying on the top line. These can be cancelled. We also have p minus 7 multiplying on the top line, and p minus 7 multiplying in the bottom. These can be cancelled also. That leaves us with a p plus 7 on our numerator. multiplied by q minus 2. We've cancelled, uh, we've scored out both things on the denominator, which leaves us with 1. So we have p plus 7 multiplied by q minus 2 over 1. And we'll continue our working up here. That gives us p plus 7 multiplied by q minus 2. Um, we don't need the 1 on the denominator. Now you could go ahead and multiply this out uh, to get another expression, but our answer is fine as it is. This is a final answer.